Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you how I'm going to process this photo in Capture NX2 to um, sort of give it a bit more pop, I suppose you could say. Um, right, first of all, it's got some blown highlights up here, so I'm just going to reduce the exposure compensation a bit, bring them back a bit. Right, there we go, that looks okay. Next, I'm going to add a curves adjustment. And this is to enhance the clouds in the sky. I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And then I'm going to pull it down quite a lot to add some darkness and um, contrast into the clouds here. And I'm also going to change this to luminance and chrominance. And the blue in the sky up here is a bit too much, I think. So I'm just going to reduce the chrominance a bit, let's move it too much there we go, that looks ok to me um, so it's just the sky that I'm focusing on here I'm not too bothered about what the ground looks like because I'm going to mask that out now so first of all I'm going to use a selection control point and add that to the cloud up there and then just duplicate that which is the same as clicking on plus again and another one maybe over here. That looks okay. And it's going to use the minus brush on the landscape to remove any effects of this layer from the landscape. There we go. And let's just um, preview that effect. Yep, I think that's probably okay like that. And next it's a bit dark, so I'm going to add a curves adjustment to brighten the image. Probably like that. And I'll just pull that down near the bottom of the curve to give it a bit more contrast. And let's just switch that on and off. Yeah, and I'll apply this just to the landscape. So I'm going to use some selection control points again. Just duplicate them, stick them over here. And again. And then I'll just use a brush as well, just to make sure we've got the landscape selected well. Probably okay. I'm just going to preview the selection. Yep, that looks okay to me. Let's minimize these layers. There we go. And then, lastly, I'm just going to use a standard control point up the brightness and the contrast a bit and put that sort of near the um, it's maybe slightly too much put that near the middle of the image where the tracks are leading it's sort of leading your eye over that way might do another one over here it's um, not quite so bright but a little bit more let's just preview that Yeah, and I think that's it really. So, um, you know, that's just a quick and simple way of um, adding a bit of pop to an image in Capture NX2.